I want to go over a couple of inline tags that you'll find useful when you're developing web pages. We're going to be talking about how to make text bold and how to make text italicized. We'll start by making some of the text in our table appear in this way. Now the th tags automatically bold the text. That happens as a result of them just being th tags. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to style the endangered text so that it is bold. If we go back into our HTML and here I have the word endangered, I'm going to go inside of the TD tag and I'm going to start by using a B tag. The B tag is how you can create bold text and I'll need to open the B tag where I want the bold behavior to begin and close the B tag where I want the bold behavior to end. If we save now and we go back into the browser and refresh, you can now see that the word endangered is now appears as bold. You can also make text appear italicized. We're going to go ahead and make the word backwards appear italicized. In order to make text appear italicized, we're going to use the I tag. And again, I need to open the tag where I want the behavior to begin and close the tag where I want the behavior to end. Whenever you're nesting tags like we have here, you always want to make sure that you follow the order of first in last out. So for instance our TD tag is the first tag in at this level it becomes the last tag out and that's just going to work its way up the document tree in HTML. The T tag is the first in the last out. It surrounds the TD. The TD surrounds the bold tag. It would not be proper syntax to code your tag like this where the bold tag opened but then the TD tag closed before the bold tag. This is not appropriate syntax. So whenever you're making your HTML you need to make sure that you follow this naming convention. Let's go back in the browser and check out our italicized text. You can see that the word backwards now appears in italics. Now currently there are actually two different ways to create bold and italic text. The way that I just showed you was kind of the old way. It's been around for a long time. Another way that you can create bold and italicized text is to use the strong tag for bold and the M tag, which stands for emphasis. That's going to by default create italicized text. So if I save my page and we go back to the browser and refresh, you're going to see that nothing actually changes. The page looks exactly the same. The difference between the bold and the strong and the italic and the emphasis is that I, the I tag which creates italics, used to be used to only create italics. Now we use the I tag to specify an alternate voice such as foreign words that you might display on a page or technical terms or typographically italicized text. The B tag, which was used to create bold text, is now used to create stylistically offset text, such as keywords and typographically emboldened text. M, which stands for emphasis, is now used to stress emphasis. It, you can use it for something that you might want to pronounce differently. The strong tag is used for stronger emphasis it creates a stronger importance. It's basically the same sort of thing. It creates emphasis, but now it also creates importance. When you're using appropriate typographic conventions, it is okay to use the I and the B tag. They now have some semantic meaning. However, you can change the styles via CSS, so don't just use them for presentation. It's used to stylistically offset text. So you want to try to use it in that way. You'll probably find it more often that you're going to see the strong and the M tags used currently rather than the B and the I tags. But either way you can create bold and italicized text using either one. Sometimes you might want to use bold and italicized text and you can definitely do that. If I take my 
endangered, and let's say we want to make this emphasized and bold, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have my strong tag open first, then my M tag, then I'll close the M tag, and then close the strong tag. Now the order in which you create this doesn't really matter. I could have the M tag appear first and then the strong tag. The important part is that I just need to close the tags in the order that they were opened. If we save now and we look inside of the browser, you can see that the word endangered is now going to appear bold and italicized. You'll find that bold and italicized text are useful to use within your websites. And once you learn CSS, you'll want to use those HTML tags for semantic value rather than for presentation.